our ABI will be launching its Return to School grant campaign on Monday the 8th of July. In order to simplify and speed up each application and remove the need to obtain supporting documentation, such as photo IDs and bank statements, our ABI has integrated a digital identity service provided by UK-based company OneID. Each applicant is required to confirm their identity and bank information via the OneID integration at the start of the application process. This video will demonstrate the OneID service for mobile and browser-based applications. Once you're ready to start your Return to School application, please visit the RABI website and navigate to the Return to School section. Within here, you'll find information regarding the Return to School campaign. And if you scroll down the page, you'll find a button where you can start your application process. Please click this button. You'll then be presented with this initial splash screen for the One ID integration with the RABI logo at the top. This screen details the information that will be retrieved from your mobile banking app. This includes your full name, date of birth, address, email address, contact number, along with the relevant bank account number and sort code for which the application will be paid into. Please note that no bank balance information is retrieved or any transaction history. You'll also be able to look at the One ID privacy and terms and conditions at the bottom of the page. Please then click continue to proceed with your application. Once I click continue, I'll then be given a list of supported bank account providers. I can search for my relevant bank by scrolling up and down the list or by typing in the search bar at the top. For these purposes, I'm going to be selecting a HSBC account. I'll then be taken to the next splash screen that informs me the next step will be to take me to my banking mobile banking app provider and to authenticate my access using biometrics or a PIN and that the data sharing agreement between One ID and the bank is authorised by the UK government. Due to the sensitive nature of bank information, I'll no longer be able to show my screen for the next step, but you'll be then launched into your mobile banking app where you'll be able to select the account for which you wish the application to be processed. Once you've uh, selected your relevant bank account, you'll then be presented back to another splash screen to confirm the rest of the information regarding your application. So this will include your date of birth and your address details. You can type that information in and then click the continue button. When you click continue, you'll then be asked to confirm that the date of birth and address information you provided is correct. I'm going to click yes, that's correct. If it's not right, you can click no and then edit that information. You'll then be asked whether you've lived in the premises or moved into the premises in the past three months. If you click yes, you'll be asked to provide prior address information. If you click no, the application will proceed. You'll then be asked to confirm the telephone number for which the application will be made. This must be a UK based number and you will receive a text or SMS verification code once this number is provided. This is a landline number. This will come through the text to voice function. If it's on a mobile device, this will come as a normal text message. So please type in the relevant number. And then click continue. You'll then shortly receive a text message with the verification code from One ID. You'll then be asked to confirm the email address for which you wish to verify your contact information. So please type your email address into the box. You'll then receive an email within a one minute period that will confirm the number to be typed into the relevant box. Once you've received that email, type in the relevant number.
and click continue. Once you've verified your bank and identity information with one ID, you'll then be returned back to the return to school application page, which will have then populated our application page with all of the contact information and banking information required to proceed with your application. Please then continue to fill in the rest of the information on the form. And once complete, submit the application form. If you're completing your return to school application using a internet browser, the process is very similar. Please visit the RABI website and navigate to the return to school section. Within there, you will find the button to start your application process. Please click on this button. You'll be taken through the same one ID verification journey, initial splash screen, confirming what information will be retrieved from your mobile bank provider. Click continue and select the relevant bank. At this stage, you'll be given the option to either download the mobile banking app using the QR code on the screen or to continue to the desktop version or web based version of your bank provider. You can click on this link at the bottom. And it will then take you through to your bank's website where you can log on to your account using your standard web based banking information. Again, due to the sensitive nature of bank information, I will not be demonstrating this section, but you'd log on, select your relevant account, and then continue on the One ID verification journey for your contact information, including date of birth, email address, telephone number, and address information as per the mobile version. Thank you for watching this demonstration video. You can now proceed to complete your application from Monday the 8th of July via the Return to School page on RABI's website. If you experience any difficulties with the One ID process, please contact the RABI free phone helpline on 0800 188 4444.